Welcome back to more Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. There's only a couple more episodes left because it's getting a little tedious now, but let's see how far we can get. That's, that's another thing of this. Like, the time frames to be able to do things, like even one of the things is getting past these bees, the time you have to get past them is, like, perfect. You have to get it perfectly or else he's going to hit you. There's, like, no room for error. It's, I don't like that very much. Oh, I see. This one goes up and down. All right. Um. Yeah. About that. Are you serious? All right. I've already jumped off once. Oh, I turned into an anvil. Okay then. Hey look, another life. And I already have three still because I already died. Okay, I guess I'll go up the ladder then. Yeah, like, I really like this game. And I, I love how it's like humorous and all that. And it doesn't like go too far. Because a lot of games they go too far with like the swearing and all that. And you can even see it like, I, I even see it in like YouTube channels and all that like if they go too far it's just doesn't make it fun anymore come here bees Are they following me? no they're not stupid bees bees I need you Bees. I don't, I don't know what I was saying anymore. So what do I do exactly? I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Like I know the bees have to go to the sunflower, but right now they they don't want anything to do with that sunflower. I don't know what I'm supposed to do from here. I know it said uh 10 o'clock, so. I had to go. I have to go back to the house. So I guess I'm gonna go back to the house because I literally can't do anything else from here. The bees don't listen to me. Hey, next cutscene. That means we're getting somewhere in the game finally. You better hurry up. What are you looking at? Nothing, sire. Oh, I think I can hear him. Eureka, Eureka! I found it, I found it! Yeah, yeah! Eureka! Oh. Ah, there you go! <laughs> so, never get spot? I think I have found the problem. Ah. We have here, if you look, the table. If you analyze the table closely, as I have done, most particularly, you will see that there is a gap. And we are not talking any old gap here, my lord. It is a sizable one. Now, milk goes here. What happens? We have the fulcrum here, the milk here. The weight problem, not good. Milk falls off because of a gap. Yeah, that is what is the problem. The gap. Hmm. I think I see. And the solution? Ah, now this is where it gets complicated. I was mulling over what would fit in the gap. I tried many things. I tried elephants, pot plants, many things. But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a rodent. Sure enough, it was. This one. Various squitchtelius. To use the proper vernacular. To the layman, the red squirrel. This red squirrel. Hmm. Yes. Squirrel. I've heard of them. Yes. 
So? So it's a simple malish. We need a squirrel. And we put him here. You know spill your milk? We don't get duct tape. Hmm. Gentlemen. Yes, my liege. Get me one of these red squirrels. Yes, my Or you could just make a new table leg. That works too. Hey, alright there. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing? Come on, come in now. Yeah, I sit down one one. Oh, this this like really smell. Ah, uh, well if you were like dung beetles we roll the poo around knows what's for. Oh, really? Did you watch you watch some poo? Um uh, uh, all right. Get your ass in there. There's these cows. Get them in there. Get them to crap and I'll make you a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. You still here? Oh, charming. Gotta get poo. Okay. I think I can manage getting poo. Okay, so... I guess I gotta... They're probably on top of the uh, mountain, I guess. Mountain just, just flooding poo. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds not good, actually. Oh, I had an anvil in there. Where are you, money? Hey, over here. Oh, man. Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello. Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> whoa. <laughs> Friendly type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> red. Red. I don't like red. <clears throat> I hate red. Go away. Whoa. Take it, he doesn't like red. What? I don't see anything red around... Oh. Here we go again. Okay, I have to go over here. Run. This way. Sounds good to me. This is the most direction I've gotten throughout this entire game. Besides the B buttons on the ground. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is gonna get the screaming squits. Hmm. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bowl. Yes. I think I get it. I'm gonna pretend I get it. Like, I know what's supposed to happen, but I don't know how to execute it. Ooh. Don't worry. I got down using my butt. <sighs> Now that could be useful. Right. This looks like it needs a little bit more hands-on control. He's a bit of a wild one. Mm -hmm. That time again, is it? Oh, I see Bugalugs is out here again. Oh, well. Oh, that's a nice little patch. I think that's a little bit of grass. Moo. Yeah. Need to get her over there somehow. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Bull, you are... Alright, that works. Cow? 
Move the cow, kind of. So he gets stuck in the wall, and I'm supposed to do something after that. Back in the butt. Alright, I figured it out. You have to ride the ball. You nonsense, young man. Goodness me, I've quite lost my appetite now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for a little meander over here. Hmm. Actually, I feel a bit thirsty. A nice little beverage should wash this tasty grass down, lovely like. This looks quite nice. Looks to be cranberry flavoured. Lovely. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> tastes a bit hot too. Oh, I'll have some more. Mm. Mm. You never know. Looks like he's just about ready to go. So what am I doing back here? I thought you completed it. Well, so did I. I didn't know what to do, so once again I had to go to a walkthrough. I might as well should have just uh, should have just watched the game uh, Society Pimps play it. Just come from there. Because honestly, this is uh, getting more uh, getting more um, aggravating fun at this point. Yeah, that thing right there. This popped up apparently over here, and I had no idea it did. It literally did not tell me it popped up. So, now the cow comes out, and I take it. I probably have to do this three times, because video games really like the number three. through these doors. Nope. Uh, so yup, there were three cows. I had to do the same thing for each of them. And it was annoying because the more cows you did, the more the stupid bull would throw you off. And of course, every time he threw you off, you would take damage and you couldn't jump off automatically when you wanted to. And now this poo. I also tried to get the button when I had to come back through here trying to get back to the spot and it was actually uh, had an invisible barrier, so. Come for that, pal. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Hey. I feel a lot more confident. Yeah. Won't need these anymore. And if I'm a lot more confident, then I should be able to swim underwater now. Hmm. Press B. And then, once I'm on the water, hold that point the control stick in the direction you want to... Um, yeah, are you I sure you've got... Uh, 